I have 100 days to beat the island, to ascend to godhood through ascension, beat all the bosses and pass the island. I'm going to do this on hardcore, no deaths, if I die I have to start all over again. So without further ado, let's get into it. I woke up on the south to spawn, one of the easier locations as I would think, a hardcore adventure. Little did I know what was to come and the fear that I would fear from the smallest of dinosaurs. So I began by gathering the resources, trying to get everything I could, quickly approached by a gang of compies that really did not want me to survive this 100 days. Pushing those compies to the side, I started gathering all my resources that I needed for my basic tools, my wood, thatch, stone, fibre, getting all my armour and that and going back for the war that was the compie war. Now it's not my time for attack. The compies were obviously no match for me, I'm just too strong, I'm too OP, I'm going to beat this 100 days. Dodos were in the firing range for everything as well. Trinodons were running away from me, I am a god, I'm going to pass this 100 days and nothing's going to stop me at all. Oh! 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 No! No! No. No. So the only thing that was actually going to stop me was my stupidity in this adventure through the 100 days of hardcore. I'd eaten a narco berry already. So far this wasn't looking too good for me. I am going to be in trouble. I started to make my way back down towards South 1, finding dodos on the way, trying to get more high, and crafting all the weapons and items I'm going to need to defend myself. So with bow in hand, I was confident that I was going to be able to survive against anything that came in my path. I went out to try and find some tames to try and knock out, and I had an idea. I'm going to use a slingshot. I haven't used one of these in a long time. I'm going to knock out this dillo. And with my first successful knockout, I did a little dance, had a little celebration, and moved on. <sighs> Found another XP note which got my level up even higher, made me be able to craft a lot more things, and ran into the Delo's best friend. He missed me, I dodged him like Ultra Instinct Goku, ah! broke my spear and ran. <clears throat> and of course harvesting all his hide. I looked up, realised, oh the sun's going down, I better go find myself a base. I found a dodo and I'm like, hang on, this is going to be my first tame. This is going to be my beast. He's going to be my one and only tame I'm going to get right. He died. And obviously his friend wasn't too happy about it. He was casting me out the whole time, throwing his revenge on me and leaving. Yeah, walk away. So the excitement and fear of 100 days hardcore running through my veins, I realised that it was coming to night time and I had to build a base real quick. I got my first foundation, placed that down and worked on the rest of my building materials to build the rest of my base. To get my first base on day one and live and sleep for the first night. I made my tribe. I really hope I can survive. <laughs> and placed my beds in my fire and turned it on and laid down in bed for a little while. But with my ADHD brain, I decided I can't stay still. I need to go farm some more. So I went outside at night time in a very scary situation and farmed a bunch more stuff. Breaking all my tools because I'm farming so hard, getting my levels up and building a bunch of stuff that I need to go fight in the near future and the near day. Crafting my stone arrows knowing I'm a god with the bow. I finished crafting and headed back to base knowing maybe I'll finally get some sleep. What if life is a dream and when you sleep you wake up? With literally one hour of sleep, I placed down my mortar and pestle, realized it was daytime sun come up, I couldn't sleep anymore, and I was so excited to get day two underway. The first thing I did was farm some berries and some spoiled meat to try and make narcotics, to try and go tame my first tames that are actually going to be useful for me in the near future. The dodo's friend came back and it was antagonizing me, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to knock him out and he's going to be become my pet. I thought across my mind, maybe this guy could be our defender of our base, our dodo defender, and protect us from all the nasty things out there. With the tame going through successfully, we now have our epic dodo. And only one name was perfect for this dodo. The one that hated that I destroy his friend, the dodo defender. One of us, one of us. Little does he know the destiny that he has already predetermined for him in the near future. So I went inside, decided to research a bunch more gear, decided I wanted to go out for an adventure to try and find out if we could find some more tames. I crossed the river, worried about piranhas, terrified of what could kill me on the other side of the water. However, the first thing we ran into was Perry the Parasaur, or soon to be Perry the Parasaur, if he doesn't drown himself first. Come on, don't drown. In his attempt to try and not get tamed, he decided I'm going to make a run for it and head straight for the water. However, he didn't know I was Usopp from One Piece and I was a god with a slingshot. Trying to drown himself in the last ditch effort to survive and stop me from taming him, I put berries inside of him and ended up taming him. Now we have Perry the Parasaur. With the goal to gain his trust and make him one of the crew, I decided to make a saddle to try and domesticate him as soon as possible and allow him to help us in our adventure to survive 100 days on Ark. He soon became a valuable member of the group, getting me a lot of narco berries to make a lot of narcos to go tame more teams. Finally able to eat some actual meat, I was so happy and excited for the day. I decided I'm going to level up my dodo. Dodo Defender is going to go and test out his skills. So I put him on aggressive and picked him up like a man child and asked him to attack his fellow men. After Dodo Defender became a cannibal and cannibalized his fellow dodo, he became part of the group and solidified his place 
That's my right hand man. Thanks to our right hand man's family that kept rocking up trying to rescue him. We were managing to make our hide armor. More rocked up, more hide got donated to us on an everyday basis. So I harvested that and made more hide armor. With a new step up in tier on armor, we we're ready to go on an adventure that finds teams that we need for our adventure to secure our new base location on 100 days. If you guys haven't liked or subscribed, maybe think about doing so. I headed back inside, I was making a few bowlers to defend myself against raptors and defend myself against trudons. Finally, creating myself a shield so I can defend myself against anything that tries to attack. I was confident and ready to go on an adventure towards South 1 to find myself and Monster Chops to find myself any tames that can help me secure my position. I headed around the edge of the metal mountain down at South 1 with fear in my heart that there was something around the corner. While keeping an eye out for Trudons because I know this area is really bad for Trudons, I found an XP note, loaded myself up and moved on. My idea was to find a Monster Chops that's one of the best tames you can get early game. I came across this level 15 and all he needed was Mejo Berries. Yes! Though I quickly found out that he couldn't carry my weight and we had to level him up and get him stronger. So we headed back along the south coast <gasps> ah! where I ran into a Spino and I ran the opposite way. My intrusive thoughts thought I could take on this Spino by hand. I quickly smartened up and decided I'm going to try and get my Muscle Chops to try and take him down for his first kill. Though even my Muscle Chops was smart enough to not have a bar of that, he knew he couldn't win and he said no. It started to become night time so we had to start adventuring back to base. And with that, we headed through the trees, fearful of what was next. With the underlying knowledge knowing that there's Trudons in this territory, I have my torch out, which usually prevents them from attacking at night time, though I'm still jumpy and very on edge right now. Ah! Every little movement in the bush is scaring me beyond anything ever before. I do not want to die, I want to pass this 100 days. So passing my first ever tame I ever did on Ark when I first started playing the game, I moved on and we found ourselves in a war with the Dillo army. I kept running around, running into more and more Dillos. Now it's Muscle Chop's time to fight. Oh yeah. Nice. To counteract the now Dilly army, I started fighting Whistle would attack Target on my Muscle Chops. He just looked at the Dillos and decided, I ain't having a bar of this. I whistled again and nothing happened. The Muscle Chops was starting to become the most hated member of our group. He just ran around, did nothing, and all he did was run in my way, doing absolutely nothing and just actually helping out the Dillos in the fight. Now absolutely infuriated with Muscle Chops, I looked over at our home and thought, should I just leave him here? head home on my own and let him be on his own. As I ventured closer to home, I'm just across the water now and my thought process is I want to leave him here. Leave him here and let him be free. He's slow, he doesn't do what he's told and he's really annoying me right now. So exhausted and frustrated from the day, I put some more food on the cooker and decided to lay down for the day. Even though it's a fire hazard to sleep with a fire on while you're asleep, I did it anyway and went to sleep for the night. Woke up the next day, sat by the water, had a coffee and was ready for day three. My plans for day three was to build a raft, try and travel to Herbivore Island, make my way around there. However, first I would have to research and I would have to build a raft myself. So now I need a farm, fiber, hide and wood. With all the resources farmed, now we can complete our vessel, our raft that will take us to Herbie Island. Let's go. And with that, it was a sad goodbye. It was time to leave our first base and venture off for greater things. I gathered all my fellow crew and asked them to hop on the raft. They didn't like that. I think some were sad to go, some were named Mosser Chops and just didn't do what they were told, and Dodo was too busy wanting to defend the base once again. So, like always, I had to hold their hand and put them on the raft myself. <laughs> I lit the fire of our enemies and decided to head off, but the game had added their ideas. The raft was glitching out, the mechanic said it was fine and it was ready to go, but the wheel alignment said, said otherwise. And in great arc fashion, something else happened. Oh! A Sarko out of nowhere has ambushed my guys. Now, I am in the defensive mode. It is war now. It is time for us to stand up. All my plans will be cut short right here, right now, if we don't fight and we don't defend. If we, if we lose everything right now, we're done. But sadly, our first victim falls to the Sarko. No! So I whistled Dodo Defender to attack target, and I went to try and knock out the Sarko. And Dodo Defender somehow survived, and I knocked out the Sarko. We now have a new pet, but we've lost the teammate forever. It's a sad day, but a good day at the same time. I carried Dodo Defender back to base like a king he is. It was now time to change his name to actually be Dodo Defender because he defended like a champ. I tamed the Sarko out of convenience and moved on to move my raft. And for some reason right now, it decides it wants to work. So the art gods are really against me right now, I swear. I searched around and found previously named Glory and decided, you know what, I'm going to change his name. He's going to be named Shame. Then decided against that and decided to call him Naughty Boy because he's not doing as he's told. I then made a Sarko saddle for our new tame, almost got clapped by a piranha, and to take our freshly serviced out raft for a little adventure to see what we can find. Look what we have here. And you know what we gotta do if we see compies in a gang together? They started a war at the start of this series. Now, every compie that I find dies. We will purge the earth 
of the Compi gangs. They will not understand the wrath that has come upon them now. Every single one of them must die. Who do you think you are getting away? Come back here. The final one decided to run towards Akano and protect itself from danger from me. It sacrificed itself to Akano so that I couldn't get it. I had to run, jump on my raft and go back to base. If that thing hits me, it could kill me. I decided to take a detour past base and go head down towards the east coast. Go see what other teams I can find like a Pteranodon. I can tell you now my search for Pteranodons did not go well. All I found was low levels. I was frustrated, so I killed a tech parasaur to get the electronics, oil and everything else from it. Finding my first blue drop, I looked inside, all I had was blueprints for metal structures, I don't need that, so I got rid of it and moved on. Frustrated with the day that's just gone by, losing a lot of things, losing my tames, and then not getting what I needed by the Tyrannodon, I decided to head back. And if I thought the day couldn't get any worse, guess what happened? A compi ambush happens. They came out of nowhere, they knew I was having a bad day, so they attacked. It was their revenge time, it was their time to get some payback for all the compies I've taken out since the start. Somehow with the surprise ambush, I somehow won the fight, moved on and decided I wanted to head back to base before the day could get any worse. By the time I'd got home, it was morning time and it was day four. It was time to move to Herbivore Island. We are moving today. It was now attempt number two to get everyone on the raft. Then I got ambushed by a flying rat with a greed problem. It took myself. And now you're dead. Now it's time to say bye to the base, head off on our raft and go to Herbivore Island where we try and set up camp, try and get ourselves a pteranodon and everything else that we need. It's more safer over there, so I thought, but I was wrong. The travel there caused problems. Out of nowhere, a lead came out of nowhere and it was, it was ready, it was bloodthirsty for my raft and it wanted to take me out and ruin my 100 days series today. One more bite and I will be dead. I will have all my teams in the water. Missed! Can we get there? We're almost there! We're so close, we're so close, we're close! We're so close, we're so close! No, 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 Though my own stupidity got me into a really bad predicament where I had to beat my way out of. I saw an Anki and I thought, nah, I'm not going to get that just yet. Yes. And I found a sickle that I really need. I then found a replacement parasaur. This parasaur is going to be named Perry 2.0. It was super easy knocking him out. Done. Easy. Berries inside. Now it's time to go check on our Tyranodon. We ran over to our on hoping that he was done. From what I can see in the distance, he's done and his name's going to be Terry the Tyranodon. No, you know what? It's going to be Chicken Nugget. Follow me first. We're going to go over this way. We're going to go back to our raft and we're going to go check on our parasaur, see if that's done. He's done. So now we've got Perry and now we've got Chicken Nugget. You're going to be cool Chicken Nugget. I took Perry 2.0 out for a little spin to go see how it performed. Got a bunch of narco berries. Then we all jump back on the raft and decide to head back to the mainland to go continue our adventure to beat the 100 days hardcore. No! And then like all bad luck, it always happens to me. An alpha lead pops out of nowhere, smacks my raft on one hit away from actually getting killed and losing everything. I'm half dead, one more hit and I'm fucking done. No! And with that, my worst fears have come true. It's an alpha lead. It's two tapped my raft, my teams are in the water, and now I have to try and get back to the mainland without dying right now, without drowning, without running out of stamina. If you think it could get worse, a megalodon out of nowhere. I'm going to die. This is where I die and have to restart. I am almost broken bones already. I'm whistling neutral to try and make them fight back. I'll sacrifice everybody to try and survive and continue this 100 days. Everyone needs to fight for my life right now, guys. This is your time to shine. Prove to me that you're worth being one of my teams. I am so close to dead right now, I'm almost broken bones. And with that, they're sacrificing their life for me. Perry is perished. He's not lasted long at all. And then, out of nowhere, I get smacked by a manta and now I'm broken bones, but I've made it to land. I've survived. I've lost half my teams. What am I going to do? Thankfully, Asako survived. Almost barely. We decided to farm up a bunch of stuff to make a house, try and get safe for the night, and have a rest for the night, and go find our fallen heroes. Oh man, this is getting really hard. It's only day four, come to day five, and we're already struggling. Morning came, and I sat there wondering about all the people and all the tames I have lost along the way, all the friends that have gone and disappeared. It's a sad day. Though, we needed to be proactive. We needed to get the stuff to make a saddle for our Tyranodon and move to our final base location. That's our idea. Get Kitan, get the Tyranodon saddle, make a raft, and head back over. Look at this idiot! Bruh. 
protect me! And I scream in fear, protect me to the monster chops. The monster chops like always will just run away and not protect me. I've lost another raft and I'm in the water again. In my panic, I whistled him to the raft and now the raft is falling down to the bottom of the ocean and he's following it with him. He's, he's gonna die. We don't care too much, do we? I managed to make it to Herbivore Island. I left Naughty Boy on the other little island, found Chicken Nugget, put the saddle on him, and I'm out. I'm off this island. I'm gonna go try and find my new base location. I'm gonna leave everyone behind. It's too hard to deal with this. He can stay here on the island. He's been useless. He's caused nothing but problems. I'm abandoning you for a bit. I headed over to the main island, and I found a green drop. Grabbed everything out of it and continued on my way. Looking for as many other drops as I can to get as much loot as I can. No! And we have to admit that day 5 is our worst day ever. I now have been taken out by the uh, the bear monster. The brawl monster. It's got me. Right now this is a fight for my life. It's doing a fair bit of damage and I may actually die here. My terrain on isn't protecting me and I am in a lot of trouble. Nearing half health and going just below half health now. I finally defeat the Microraptor, 145 at that. I check a couple more drops, grab everything I can out of it and move my way on. I fly through the night knowing that I need to get to my new base location as soon as possible. Get a base down and work on advancing as quick as possible. Right now I am getting so close to dying, but I wanted to push through the night and get all the way to this location right here. But it's infested with Trudons and we know what Trudons are like when you're trying to stay alive. So my only bet in this situation is to kite them off the edge, trying to get them run off into the water and get off my cliff because this is where I want to build my final base. This is where I want my glorious empire to be. And these Trudons are stopping that. And like always, they came for me straight away. Perfect. First we have to chop down this beautiful tree right here so we can build our first foundation, place that down and get our building going. And now for a quick little montage of farming and building. After finishing off the building, I went to go pick up a Pegamastic and accidentally tamed it. I then ran into a demon bird once again and it absolutely destroyed me. This is not okay. I was getting done by a Pegamastic and my dinosaurs were slightly defending me, but eventually they killed it and I survived. I then came across some more Trudons that were hanging around near base. I need to farm around here in a bit, so I need to take them out before they decide to take me out. I finally managed to get my first smithy, decided to place that down right next to my storage boxes, next to my bed. This is the end goal right here. After taking myself for a little motivational fly over to my end goal, which is the Ascension Cave, a new fire was lit in my belly and I was keen to pass this challenge to beat 100 days on hardcore. Guys, it's the end of another day and now we move on to day 7. I start off day 7 with my new pet. My new trusty companion. I farmed a little and proceeded to bowler Perry 3.0 and continue to knock him out. Now we're going to have Perry 3.0. Let's hope he survives. Perry 3.0. Third time's a charm, eh? All things were good. I was farming with Perry, trying to get some stockpile of resources. And I was ambushed by a bunch of everything. Dillo, Trudons, everything. It was a war. And I was going to win. With Perry's first victory, he brought back a bunch of narco berries. That allowed me to make a bunch of narcos. We need to start searching for some more tames that we need. We need Argentavises and we need an Anki. So it made some flacking preparation for that. So I lit the fires of Mordor and I set out to have a rest before we go out and try and find some more tames. The day's coming to an end. We're day seven. We've lost creatures. We haven't died yet. But we've lost. We've lost Perry's. We've lost everything. And now it's dark again. I'm scared. And with that slight little mental breakdown, I had a nap and rested for the next day. Today was the day. Today we have to go get an Argentavis. With Perry 3.0 farming up all the stuff we need. Where do we go to find our Argentavis? I started my search around the volcano. All I could find was bad levels. Checking as many drops as I can along the way to try and find a few things that we kind of need. And then we found the perfect one. A 145. Yes! However, first we would have to make a trap. A trap that would stop the Argentavis from getting away and allow us to knock it out with ease. Finally made the trap and I kited the Argentavis into the trap. Went around to go close the other door and I found out that I made the trap wrong. <clears throat> so once again I had to farm another gateway and try the trap once again. Being sure that I placed it in the exact right spot. I kited the RG in but it almost one tapped my pteranodon. So I tried for the third time, got it trapped in there, went in to shut the other door, jumped off my pteranodon and got almost one tapped by the RG. Now I'm almost dead. So with my unwavering commitment I decided to go for the fourth time and guess what I finally got it in and I got it trapped now we have to knock it out finally with Argentavis knocked out we had to go find prime meat and bruised and battered we headed out to go find some prime meat and an Argentavis you usually give prime meat I got a couple prime meat from it chucked in the Argentavis and we waited for it to tame Hey. Once again bruised and battered, tired from my adventure trying to find an Argentavis and failing miserably, I headed back to base and went there for the night. Time was coming for the end of the day and day 9 was coming real fast. And of course with the new team I had to test it out. We took them for a fly for a little while and went back to base for the night and slept. 
Day 9 came around, and the biggest thing today that we did was tame an Anki. We knocked out the Anki, got it on the edge of the cliff here at the volcano, and then we just chucked a bunch of berries in it like you always do, and left it for a while, came back, and it was tamed. I need a minute to be able to make my Anki saddle. Yes, I know, that's really ironic. Hey, Mr. Anki, it's, it's new day. With Day 9 already over, it's time to go farm with Balls of Steel. Yes, that's his name. Anki is Balls of Steel. And the first time I'm using him, he claps up the compi army. I had to throw myself the metal because I didn't have any mods to help me transfer the stuff over. Now that I'm rich with metal, I can make the rest of my flak and be a full set warrior. Combi's got nothing on me now. Though they didn't stop them from trying, they came back with force. They came back with a full game, a full group, and they were trying to take out Perry 3.0. Perry needs to fight, he needs to prove himself. And you know how you prove yourself in this tribe? You have to kill all the combis that are around. You have to fight and you have to survive. And that's what he needs to do right now. And he's getting clapped. However, Perry 3.0 proved that he was a beast. With the spoils of Perry's hard work, we now made a bunch of narcotics and we're gonna go out and tame a bunch of new teams. But oh my gosh, do we need a haircut. Day 11 came around and I was looking for Rexes and I was looking for Megatheriums. So far, no luck, I was getting really low level Rexes. I then came to the realization it was really cold out in the snow and I didn't want to die, so I killed a couple mammoths to try and get some fur. Then headed to the Redwoods in hope to find a Megatherium there and found a Polovia hiding in the ground. To my confusion, I thought there was Megatheriums in the Redwoods, I didn't find any, so I had to go back to the snow. However, not before finding a random beaver dam, getting all the resources I need from that, and then getting clapped by a random terror bird. So, yeah, it's coming. And with that, I go back to base and I made some scissors. Then I made a nice little haircut. I wanted to look nice and pretty for you guys so that when we hit the 100 days, we look like a beast. Day 11 was almost over. I reminisced on all the tames we had gained and all the people we had lost. We're not even halfway yet. I continued my search for Megatherians, but all I could find was low levels. I was searching for Stegas as well, but all I could find was super low levels. After feeling like a failure, only finding low level dinosaurs that I need, ended up heading back home and crashing for the night. Day 13 came around and all it was to me was disappointment after disappointment, low levels after low levels. And then this happened. Finally, a 135. My dreams have come true. I quickly built a trap and got ready to kite it in, to tame it. I'm getting cold, I'm about to die. Night time has come and now we're taming it. We have it in the trap. I'm half dead. I have fires to try and protect me while I tame this out because I will get this. And I will stay out all night eating constantly to survive. Morning was here and I'd finally knocked it out. Finally. If you guys are really enjoying this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It'll help me out a great deal, and we can do Scorched Earth next. While I waited for that to tame, I went out and tried to look for a secondary, a mate-boosted pair. But I couldn't find any, came back, and it was tamed. Thank God for that. Days were passing like sand through the hourglass. On day 15, I really needed cryopods. I also found a second megatherium that's a mate boost. I'm knocking that out now, and I am keen. His health is pretty high at the start. Hopefully that jumps a fair bit. With that knocked out, now I can put prime meat in it, and it will be our breeding pair. With the crystal I farmed previously, now I can make cryopods. I cryed everything and I decided to head back to base. Now it's time to breed them and start our army. Our army shall begin and we shall destroy the brute mother. That is the first boss we plan to go for. We need to enter the depths of the swamp cave soon. Yeah, you get at it. Yeah. After creepily watching them breed, I got my first baby and that baby came out with perfect stats as a female. We have a breeding female. As day 15 came to an end, our baby was growing very strong. We knew that we could go to the cave real soon and the possibility of doing a boss fight is more and more in our favor. However, then the unthinkable and my greatest fear happened on day 16. I was falling from the sky when I logged back in. Luckily, I had made parachutes the day before. That was fucking lucky. Pushing that traumatic experience to the side, I moved on. I needed to farm a bunch of materials. I need to farm some oil. I need to farm some polymer. I need to farm some crystal. I then put down my fabricator and leveled up a couple of my megatheriums. The rest of the day just consisted of me breeding the megatheriums again and getting my first mutation. Yeah, he's blue. I started to level my megatherium all around my base, trying to get it ready to go into Swamp Cave. So I don't fall into a pack of something that's gonna f ya. I got to the cave and then I realized I don't know what I actually need to not die in here. I realized I missed stuff. I went back to base, crafted the things I needed and started to head back. On my way back to the cave, I found an Alpha Kano, killed that real easy and got heaps of levels. Now I'm ready to go into the cave. On my way to the cave, I walked on top of something that looked like a Pelovia. Yeah, I did it again, guys. I've got something else. Finally, I'm geared up. I can go through the cave. I'm destroying all the bugs. Making my way easily through the cave, finding all the drops, getting some nice loot. Ew. Looted up, I finally make my way to the artifact. I'm terrified at the same time, but this is the first step. Ordering all my loot into a nice little storage box, I put everything away, and I was ready to go breed my megatheriums again. If you haven't noticed, we crossed over into day 18 while we were in the cave. We ended up going for some more drops, finding a bit of loot, and then coming back and our megatherium is ready to pop. Our army is being more and more close to being completed. So we worked hard and hard through the night, trying to get our megatheriums ready to go for our war. And then, bruh. Day 19 quickly came around, I was checking a couple more drops that were close to base, and then I found a Trayon saddle for my Trayon. I'll have to admit to you guys, Day 19 wasn't very interesting. All we did was work on our Megatheriums and go hit a couple of drops. However, at the end of the day, I did find this team. 156. It's not amazing, but it's something. There we go. 
With the stego knocked out, the intention was to take it into the dragon fight. So with that in mind, I just needed a decent stego to be able to ride and not die from the dragon. While I waited for it to tame, I looked around for a few dinosaurs to see if I could find some high level rexes and see if I could find some high level theories. To say I was unsuccessful would be a super understatement. However, during the day, my stego tamed. My stego didn't get a special name because it's going to be a breeder. However, my luck was turning around. I found my first high level theory. I started farming up a trap so that I could trap it and knock it out without any issues. However, the new Therizino decided to demolish a 12 pack chicken nugget like a Friday evening after drinks. Uh... After my slight mental breakdown, I made the rest of my trap and kited him into the trap. Almost got clapped up by it, thought it was going to go over the top, but got him safe, knocked him out, and put some berries in him ready to tame. Let's go. I then knocked out and tamed a parasaur. I realized that I needed narco berries to keep this thing unconscious. Therizinos have a very fast wake up rate. With enough berries to keep this unconscious for a long time, I let it work its magic. Hummada, 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 hummada. So I had to make a forge, a smithy, and a few other things so that I could actually make a Therry saddle so I can walk it back because the Therry killed my Tyrannodon, my only way of getting back to base. So began my journey back to base. Nope, 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 turn around. <sighs> As you can probably tell, I didn't make a Therry saddle. The trek back home was very treacherous and I ran into a Capri, which Terry disposed of real quick. 135. Mate, oh, Terry, we got a we got a partner for you. So I found an opposite gender of my Therizino. Now I can tame this and I can start breeding up Therizinos for my dragon boss fight. Here you go. Hey! Go to sleep, go to sleep. And with the male Therizino finally tamed, we can now breed our Therizinos ready for the dragon fight. I then went for a meat run because I wanted to pop a bunch of Megatheriums to get my army going even more and get that broodmother done ASAP. With our little Sid army growing day by day, we move forward for the broodmother. With the days passing super fast, we are now almost a quarter way through the 100 days hardcore challenge. We're on day 23 and right now I'm trying to build myself a generator and raising area so I can pop the Therizino eggs and get them on their way to the dragon fight and pass this horrible horrifying challenge that I've chosen to do for myself. With the outback breeding and raising area I've now made, I've bred up the Therizinos, I've got an egg and I'm about to pop my first Therizino egg. Oh that's so cute, look at it! As you can probably imagine the days are passing super fast. The end of day 25 has led me to Hunter Cave. Hunter Cave is on the south to spawn. I have to go there for the artifact. With fear in my heart, terrified of whether a Megalany would pop out of the roof and kill me and rule my 100 days. With how terrified I was of the cave, it ended up being day 26, halfway through through my travel through the cave. I was so terrified that I didn't realize another day had passed and we are moving closer and closer towards the 100 days. With that knowledge sitting over my head constantly, I keep telling myself, Shane, Shane, you need to do this faster. Hurry up or you're not gonna make it and you're gonna fail, this will be a waste of time. And then in my haste, I fell into the water inside the cave and was getting clapped up by all the piranhas. I might die. Somehow I managed to survive. I headed on the way back to base and my Therizino had finished raising. So I decided to mate them all together and get another egg. They overwrapped me, snatched that real quick. Then I realized I had to make a preserving bin because I didn't have the resources to make a fridge. Then at the end of day 26, my luck seemed to have turned around. Yes. It's not the best. It's not the best. But it's something. I got myself a Stego saddle. Day 27 came around. Nothing really interesting happened. I just focused on raising Therizinos today. You know what? Scrap that. The art gods are against me. They're rubbing it in. They I got a Tyrannodon saddle. The Tyrannodon's dead. Day 28 came around and I stupidly knocked out a Rex. A low level Rex. Out of necessity and just utter frustration. Then like true arc fashion I got ambushed by a Trudon. But this time I've got my trusty Argentavis. Then another three rocked up. I was kidding by the way. It was a 140. <laughs> and with that, the final step towards boss fights is on its way. We now have Rexes, Therys and Megatherians. We have all our base dinosaurs that we need to be able to do every single boss. Now we just need to start breeding everything up and boom, we're done. Let's go guys. This is our best progress so far. After finally finding a decent Rex, I headed back to base with my head held high. 125? 145! Ah, uh, yeah right. I saw a 145 pig and I need to tame it. But to be frustrated would be a complete understatement. They were clapping me and I ran out of stamina. How are they climbing rocks? Finally, I could try and knock it out. I got into a good position and finally knocked it out. And of course, I can't make it easy to tame this thing. The Saber Tooth came out of nowhere and started smacking me and almost ruined my tame. However, with Ark completely against me, I persevered and tamed the pig. He shall be named Little Pig. I snatched up my bacon like a hot breakfast, I mean pig, and went back to base. Day 29 sharply approached and I made saddles for my Daedon and for my Rex. Started to equip them and got them ready to go level. I healed up all my Therese with my new Daedon. I took out my Therizino to go level it up with all the Alphas around the area. Alphas were no match for the Serizino. They got clapped up beyond all recognition. Day 30 will forever be known as the day I got beyond triggered. I had my biggest mental breakdown on this day. I was out looking for Yudis and I found myself a very high level one. <laughs> Somehow this Yudi turned into Neo from the Matrix and dodged all my bullets. And again. And again. <laughs> 
Then after finally hitting it a few times, it decided, hey, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run fast. I'm the Flash. Oh wait, and again. And then somehow I lost him. He ran and I lost him. I am triggered. After searching for a while, pulling all my hair out, I finally found him. <coughs> oh, I'm out. I have no more fucking tranks. I have to head back and get more. I got back to base, made a bunch of narcotics, made a bunch of tranks, and then I headed my way back. But before I did that, I had an idea. Let's make gates and let's make bear traps. After at least five mental breakdowns, I headed my way back. And with that, I baited him into the trap, and he was trapped. I was successful. I have beaten the UD. Get trapped! However, Ark is an Ark without something going wrong. You see, I forgot that wild dinosaurs don't get trapped for too long, and they get out real quick. However, with my determination running strong, I knocked him out finally. I was victorious finally, and all those mental breakdowns were for nothing. After everything I went through, I didn't want anything to attack it, so I put spikes all around. After literally two days of taming this UD, it was finally successfully tamed. Now, we are almost set for our boss fights. We have a UD now. The knight gave me the one last little middle finger. On my way back on day 32, I decided to purge all happy feet from existence, because I am not happy. I then upgraded my breeding area, and popped a few more therazines is ready for war. Oh yeah, named our UD Forest Hump. And then it was time for something I hadn't done yet. Upgrading the base. Doing a little speed build and a little montage for you guys. Yeah, that's enough. We have stuff to do. It's day 33. We found ourselves at Pack Cave, somewhere where I thought maybe there'd be some good drops here. We're gonna need the artifact anyway. After turning all the cave dinosaurs to Swiss cheese, I quickly realised I didn't have the stuff to be able to go through this cave. I don't have Scooby gear. I need to get back. Day 34 and 35 consisted of me heading over to Kano Cave, where I go to head and grab the next artifact. I make my way down. A lot of the dinosaurs in here turn into Swiss cheese as well. When I have a Therizino this strong, it's pretty easy. I grab the drops on my way down, and there's nothing really good so far. We finally make our way down to the artifact. Make Make sure we clear everything out of there and grab our second artifact. With my second artifact in hand, I was so happy and I was so excited I was running my way out. And then... No! Uh oh. The worst happened. I got hit by a Megalania finally. I knuckled down, ate meat at the right times and actually survived. Day 36 came around and after that horrible day, we, had, we, we were in store for some good luck. I found a high level chicken nugget. I was set out to bowler it and tame this thing while I was taming another Rex. However, Ark has other ideas doesn't it? A Rex comes out of nowhere and kills Chicken Nugget 2.0. So I have to kill this Rex and now I'm triggered again. <sighs> Some days you just have to look at the positive. We tamed a new Rex and we have another breeder. I headed home not remembering the bad stuff and just focusing on the positives to so move on to the next day. We need some positives now. We've got to work towards the boss fights. We've got to breed all these theories. We've got to take out every single boss. Day 37 was here and Randy Orton decided to make a guest appearance. A Thylo. After everyone's fear of the Redwoods comes true, Polovia jumps out of nowhere and takes me off my team. I have to survive here. This is a nightmare come true. After giving the Cats musical a zero star rating, Polovia was dead and we had murdered and survived the attack. I then went into Swamp Cave again to level up one more Megatherium in preparation for the Broodmother fight that was to come. We may have to use Primitive Saddles. I headed back to base with another day out of the way. Day 38 was to come and what was the future to hold for that day? Outcome. You're not gonna make it 10 years. After inspirational words from Ice Cube, I decided to head out and go get an Ichthyornis to find myself a Basilosaurus because Basilosauruses can't be stunned off and it's great for easy underwater. And with that, I tamed my first Ichthyornis and now I can go search for my Basilosauruses. I'm getting really bad luck once again. Like always, I'm getting bad luck with all the teams on this island. It quickly became nighttime and I was ill-prepared so I had to wait by a bunch of fires. Day 39 literally just consisted of me running away from deep sea dinosaurs and they were terrifying. And then head back to base with my tail between my legs. Breed our Rexes. Now our army is beginning. A big part of today consisted of getting the first imprint on the Rex and the second imprint. Fully imprinting our Rexes. I also went around starting to level up our Therizinos because dragon fight is not far away. Day 41 came around I got extremely lucky. I found a opposite gender Stego. Working fast to get it knocked out so I can have an imprinted Stego going into the boss fight is my main priority. In the meantime I was raising more Rexes, getting my army prepared and strong. Ready for Donkey Kong. The Donkey Kong fight. Dropping more and more Rex eggs to get as many Rexes as we can as quick as we can. I jumped back into Swamp Cave to go find out if there's any good drops. So far, all I've found is junk. Oh, look who it is. On day 42, we run into a familiar face, Naughty Boy. He's been sitting here for at least 35 days. It's time to pick him up and put him to use. We need Polymer, we're finally gonna use him. You've redeemed yourself now, buddy. I took a slight detour up west and found my, my first red drop. And guess what? I got a compound bow and a shotgun. Day 43, it was time to do a little speed build. I need to upgrade my base and make the expansion of a platform. With the previous Stego that we knocked out and tamed earlier, we now have a raising Stego that we can use in the boss fight. All we had to do was imprint it and get 100%. 
then it's ready to go. Then when I thought all things were going well, a demon bird came out of nowhere, somewhere where I didn't think one would come from, and it was clapping me up. I had to quickly whistle neutral on my Argentavis to try and protect me. It took its time, but clapped it in one hit. I went over to the snow to go start collecting pelt to start making more fur armor for the final boss and just in general for being less cold. After getting plenty of pelt, I decided to head back to base and call it a day. I'll be honest with you, day 44 to 46, I kind of zoned out. I farmed, I looked for Basilosaurus's, and I just struggled. It was day 47 and I headed my way down to the lava cave on the east coast, an artifact of the massive. I measured my way through and I quickly found out that I wasn't prepared for this. I had the bats after me, I had to quickly grapple my way to safety as these bats were ready to murder me. I had to bait most of the bats towards my theory to try and kill everything so I can get over to the artifact and finally claim my spoils. This would bring me closer to the bridge by the fire. I checked out the loot and the loot was horrible. Then I got ambushed by a spider and I ran as fast as I could and got out of this cave. I didn't want any part of this. After I got home, I had a thought. Maybe I'll go fishing. The loot table for fishing says that I may be able to get a Rex Saddle BP. So excited about the BP I accidentally followed through, thinking it was an actual bite, but it was just me. It was just me. Finally landing my first fish, I was excited and brimming with anticipation as to what loot would I get from this first fish. To say I was underwhelmed would be an understatement. Really? With a demon bird approaching yet again, never leaving me alone, never let me have a singular day of peace. And with that, it was his time to strike. However, this time I was prepared. Terry came in and clapped him up. Then even the saber tooth salmon decided to troll me. They sat there and antagonized me and antagonized me. Then at last, I finally found a high level chicken nugget again. But a pegamastic decided, hey, I'm going to ruin that for you. After disposing of the pegamastic in one foul swoop, I bowled the pteranodon and got myself a new chicken nugget. He's gonna become mine. After once again getting our chicken nugget back, the day ended and it was time to move on to day 48. Day 48 started out rather well. Well, I found a low level bear. In my thoughts, I, I needed a bear to go get honey. Then I lost the bear. And when you think your day can't get any worse, Ark throws you a curveball. A thylo out of nowhere like Randy Orton in WWE takes me out, but my fairy's like, nah mate, you're done. You're done. Then hyenodons in a pack come out of nowhere like... That didn't last long though. <laughs> that didn't last long at all. Oh yeah, thought you were tough, eh? I then somehow found a higher level bear. It's creeping closer to the trap. It really wants to be caught. As I was about to knock out the bear, a scorpion was like, Hey mate, you wanna go sleep? You wanna have a sleepover? So I had to quickly kill that, get back to the taming of the bear. With the bear finally knocked out and tamed, Go get ourselves some honey soon. Yeah, some honey pots. <laughs> I went back to base and introduced Pooh Bear to the rest of the group, to the rest of the family, and then cried him up to put him away so he can gain some passive XP. Introduced new chicken nugget to the rest of the group as well, and then thought, hey, I should probably do a little bit of farming. And with the farming out of the way, it was almost time to go to sleep. I put my medal away and it was time to go to sleep for the night. 49 is here. We're almost halfway. I'd have to admit, day 49 was quite unproductive. All I did was raise a bunch of Therizinos and build my army. Day 50 was here and we hadn't died once. We've made it halfway through the 100 days hardcore challenge and not died once. We've had close calls, but we still have not died. I decided I need to go tame a higher level Ichthyornis to go find a Basilosaurus for the 100th time in this 50 days I've been here. Oh my god, I've had bad luck. Day 51 and 52 start off with a bang. I finally found an insane Basilosaurus. My low IQ brain decided, hey, I'm gonna knock it out and tame it. Little did I know, it was a passive tame. I didn't know that. So after 10 minutes of trying to knock it out, what's a passive tame? I figured out it was a Passive team. And so the bad luck started. My scuba takings are broken, and I've only got one left, and I have to tame this whole thing. And it will not eat. Half dead, I headed to the beach to go heal up. Thankfully, when I came back, it wanted to eat, and I finally tamed it. Now we have an insane basilisk, and we can do easy underwater. Let's go. And with that completed, I decided to head to easy underwater for the first time in this series. This is going to be the test on whether I die or not. Healed and leveled and ready to go, we head deep into easy underwater. Our first time. Are we going to die? I'm terrified. I'm puckered up. I easily dispatched the dinosaurs in the easy underwater, knowing that this is going to be simple. Making my way through, killing all the high-level dinosaurs without any problems. I find my first drop. Oh damn. And it was nice. I then found an Alpha Moser and ran, and took my frustrations out on an Alpha Megalodon. After a quick heal break, I decided I'm gonna take on that Moser. So I did, and I destroyed it. Day 53 came around, and I decided I need some defenses for my dinos. So I made some spike walls, headed back to base, and started placing them all. But you know what? It doesn't go easy. I got stuck. So I had to beat my way out of it, raise some more Rexes, and got my army ready for the boss fight. Build a bit more to my base, and finished completing the raising of the Rexes. I got an Ascendant Shotgun. We finally got some good loot from a drop for once. Day 54, I was 
coming out of Easy Underwater and guess what hit me? A Tuso. I need to kill the Tuso for boss tributes and for Black Pearls. So perfect. Oh, there's a Moser in the background. But with my insane strength, I scared it off. It ran. However, it was no match for Shane the Shadow. I found him. I got him. And I got my loot. Now I just have to find where the bag went. Found it. And then I decided to take a chance. I went to I went to hard underwater. Nope, bad idea. Day 58, I found myself in the clutches of another two so, which is great because I need the tributes. After snatching up all my little bits of loot, I decided to head off and go get some pollen with my Tyranodon and then head off back home. Once I got home, I hoarded all my loot ready for when I needed it. And then I headed off to sleep for a little while because I was exhausted. Day 56, I started leveling up my Rexes ready for the monkey boss. As well as sorting out my Megatheriums and organizing my dinosaurs separating breeders from war dinosaurs. I then made a tree platform to access sap and go for honey. After placing the tree platform down, it decided to go for a frog, and the frog decided to go for me and turn me into its little tame. Though it was dark, just like Shadow's soul, I still found another chicken nugget. And then the unthinkable happened. Randy Orton came out of nowhere again, and this time it was serious. I was losing armor, lost more armor, and then everything was coming around to kill me. I had to run. My RG had to fight to protect me right now. If I die here, I am Rigged. So I ran and hid behind a tree, trying to make sure that nothing hit me off the edge and killed me instantly. Marge and Tavis was doing its job, it was killing everything. This made me realise I need to step up my game. It was day 57 and we were finally getting some baby chicken nuggets. Finally! And then I had to repair my armour from when I got absolutely destroyed by Randy Orton. Pause. We headed into the swamp cave again, trying to get the Rex saddle and the Megatherium saddle. With no success, sadly. Every drop was horrible. We even went to Easy Underwater to see if we had anything there. And we got a Megatherium saddle, but pre-made. Day 58 started with Naughty Boy trying to rectify his past discretions. It's time for him to start stepping up and doing his job. He needs to get us polymer and get it fast. With Naughty Boy finally becoming part of the team again and not running away this time, I am happy. With organic polymer in hand, me worrying that I'm gonna press E on it. End it all right now. Do it! Time to make my first industrial cooker. It's only taken me 58 days to actually start making a cooker and making med brews. With the cooker down, it was time for me to go farm narco berries and tinto berries to make med brews so that I can have a better chance of surviving this 100 days. It was nearing the end of day 58 and I made one of the biggest mistakes that almost cost me the entire 100 days. I took a frog that wasn't very high level into the swamp cave without any protection out at the time and I hit a bug and then all the bugs came and this was bad. Before I knew it, I was surrounded by bugs and dying real quick. I had to jump off and try and survive. With the Megatherium out, I was able to survive and somehow not die. Protecting my frog and stopping it from dying as well. Ew, what is this drop? With two days passing super fast, we are now on day 60. Decided to start making compost bins to start getting some fertilizer and getting our crops going finally. On day 60, it's been needed for a long time. After feeding my Theomia a little bit of laxatives, aka stimberries, it started pooping forever. And now I can make fertilizer. I snuck back into the swamp cave, but the drops in here are just getting ridiculous and I kind of don't want to do it anymore. However, Easy Underwater seems to be giving me everything I need, just not BPs. Found a random yellow drop and I got a six stego saddle. Day 61, I head over to Kano Island. I actually found a flak BP for once. Let's go. After checking out all my BPs that I have so far, I decided to head off to the central cave. One cave that I need the artifact for to do the boss fight soon. And to say that Terry made this cave easy is an understatement. This was one of the easier caves that I've been through on this island. It was a walk in the park to get through this. Getting the artifact, I went back to base and I got my megatheriums ready to go. At the start of day 62, I started making gunpowder. I needed gunpowder to make shotgun ammo, shotgun ammo so that I could shotgun the brood mother in case something bad happens. I then got my UD out, started boosting my megatheriums to see if I could do this fight with ease. I then went and crafted some more cryopods to take my megatheriums over to the obelisk. So I decided to do gamma so I could test out whether primitive saddles on megatheriums would work against alpha. All right. <sighs> How to do Gamma. Contemplating all my life choices up to now, up to day 63. Wish me luck. Even though it was only Gamma, I was absolutely terrified. I didn't know what was gonna go if I was just gonna die here. So I started it. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Too late now. Completely thought I was going to die. It was time to nut up and go for the fight. And we went in straight away. We went in with a force. I whistled attack target on my Mega Themes to get straight in. And they went in with a force. They were there to make Daddy proud. They were raised for this reason. To destroy the brood mother and everything it holds dear. We will destroy her. Nearing the end, I was getting excited. This is rather easy. Alpha may be possible with primitive saddles. And we beat the brood mother. Let's go! We got tech. First boss done. Maybe Gamma. 
but we've got it done and now we may be able to do alpha. Praising all my dinosaurs, I exited the boss fight with my head held high. On day 64, I headed around trying to find the underwater drops. I looked it up on the map but couldn't find any. On my way back, I had to stop for stamina and then I got ambushed by a bunch of raptors that knocked me down to the ground and I ran out of stamina again and I almost got clapped up. Found a purple drop, nothing amazing. As soon as I got back to base, I started leveling up my rexes, getting ready for a boss fight. After leveling all the rexes up, I leveled up my theories. I need to do dragon and I need to do monkey boss. Plus I need to do alpha on broodmother. Day 65, I decided to pop some more rexes and then leveling up all the rexes I already have ready for the monkey boss fight. I then got ambushed by Megalania once again and that's why I have a sleeping bag in my inventory. I thought I could cheat the system by placing a sleeping bag down and fast traveling and not actually dying. Luckily, I never had to use it and I healed myself because now I have med bruise and I ate my way through the last time I got attacked by it so we're all good. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Managing to survive by drinking med bruise now and then, I got through the sickness once again. When I got back to base, I leveled up my rexes a little bit more. I made some fertilizer and I farmed some honey. I then made my way around the swamp, trying to find as many sarcos as I can to get the sarco skins for my boss fight that I'm about to do. I'm going to go for the monkey boss, but I also need every single different tribute that I need for all the other bosses, so I thought I'd do a boss tribute run today. Once I returned home from my adventure, I pondered, what do I need for an industrial forge? I need to up my game right now. I did what I thought was another useless swamp cave run, and then sussed out what I needed for boss fights still. The end of day 65 is creeping ever so closer, and the first alpha boss and the knowledge that I must fight them soon. I'm terrified. I don't know how this is going to go and this is going to be the ultimate test of my skills on Ark Survival Evolved. Day 66 popped up out of nowhere. It was time to head back to Pack Cave and actually get the artifact now. Now that we need it, we've gone here. We've got Scooby gear. We're going to smash through all these cave dinosaurs and we're going to get that artifact because it is important. I wasn't 100% sure on where it was, where the artifact actually lied. I just knew that it was a hard place to get to and I had to travel through water and I knew there was dangerous creatures on my way through here. However, I powered through and I eventually found it. I have the artifact. I farmed Spino Sails for the boss fight and took Naughty Boy out to get more polymer, craft a few more things. The specific item I wanted to craft was the industrial forge finally. I had to do a little bit of a tidy up with my team so they were everywhere and now it was time to move into the industrial age. After placing the forge, I placed about four more mortar and pestles so we could craft a lot quicker and kicked off the crafting before we went out and did a little bit of farming. With the metal farmed, it allowed me to make a bunch of rexos ready for my boss fight in the real near future. Wait a minute. I just got lucky as f Starting day 67 off with the most luckiest day I've had in this 100 days, I got a fairy saddle. The one saddle I've wanted out of any other saddles. The dragon fight is my most terrified fight that I have to do soon. And to have this is a game changer. Ah, and like I've said in the past, when something's gone right, it goes wrong. Absolutely over the moon of getting that saddle BP. I then farmed the last little bit of resources I need to be able to make my chemistry bench. Craft that and now we've solidified our place in the industrial era. And then, if this day couldn't get any better, I find Ascendant Flat Gauntlets BP. I end the day farming hide for my saddles and all the other stuff I need to start making really soon. I then go back to base and admire the base from above. Day 68 was the day. Today was the day that I decided I'm going to do the Megapithecus, the Alpha Megapithecus fight. So you know what that means? I've got to level up the last of my dinosaurs, I've got to cry them up ready to go, and we're going to head over to Blue Obby and get this fight underway. I'm terrified, but also anxious to pass it as well so we can move on and finally finish this 100 days and pass the island in general. Oh, I'm so scared! And with that we enter the arena. It's time to take on the Megapithecus. Donkey Kong shall die today. So I head around the back, I J whistled my dinosaurs, let's go to battle. I whistled, attack target on the monkey but I missed. And then I hid behind my Rexes, whistled them neutral and allowed them to fight. And in my own fear, I, I pressed the wrong button. I didn't boost them, I did the fear instead. But now they're fighting and they're destroying the Megapithecus right now. They're absolutely annihilating him. This is an easy fight. Everyone told me this was easy and I see now that it is. And from the last final bites from my sexy Rexes, it was over. And it's GG. Easy. I had completed my first alpha boss fight on this 100 days and day 68 we have now beaten the Megapithecus. All we need now is a broodmother and dragon and then we go on to the ascension and that will be the ultimate test.
Ecstatic with my win over Donkey Kong, I cheered, and then I cried everybody up. Headed back to base, it was time to make the greenhouse. We finally were making a greenhouse on day 68. It should have been done days ago, but finally, we need to work on cakes because we need cakes for our dragon fight to come. I farmed up the seeds with my stegosaurus, and then I grabbed some fertilizer and finally planted my crops, ready to make the cakes. It was day 69, and that means it's International Mating Day. All dinosaurs are breeding today. Welcome to day 69. Yeah, breed my pretties. Jeez, you guys could have cleaned up after yourself. I then headed out to go find some Tussos to get black pearls and get the rest of the Tuso tentacles I needed for the next boss fights. I found one Tuso, but then I ran into an Alpha Tuso, and that there is perfect. With tentacles coming at me like a special type of anime, I defeated the Tuso and got myself many black pearls and the Alpha Tuso eye, which is what I need for the ascension later on. And then day 70 came around, and today was the day that I decided I'm going to go for Broodmother Alpha. I want to keep on the roll of beating the bosses and take him out as quick as possible and destroy this 100 days hardcore challenge into the ground. First I had to play some sap taps to try and start making more cakes and work on a few other things like shotgun ammo. If I had to shotgun the Broodmother, I could shotgun the brood mother. I grabbed some honey then I made some cakes to place inside some of my megatheriums to try and keep some of them alive a little bit longer because I think this may be a hard fight. I have primitive saddles nothing but balls of steel and with that no longer thinking about it anymore and they're stopping it now. it's time to get into the fight. As soon as I got into the fight, I had one plan, and that plan was to whistle half my megatheriums into the boss, then whistle half of them back and take them around the back so they could cover all sides of the broodmother. I'd whistle neutral now and then to try and stop them from getting killed by the little the little spiders, and also to get bug buff. If they didn't have bug buff, then it would have been an issue and they would die a lot quicker. However, I didn't realize how hard this fight was actually going to be with primitive saddles. I whistled attack target. All the little dinosaurs behind me, all the little spiders were attacking me. I had to whistle neutral for them to fight the spiders behind me and protect me but in this way it allowed a lot of my megatherms to start dying oh that's not good oh that's not good that's not good this ain't gonna work come on even though they're all dying i gave them the mightiest roar i encouraged them to fight to the death they will not lose come on we may have lost a few but we succeeded a fight that we thought we were gonna lose we won so i gave the mightiest cheer and celebrated the victory after the fight was over i realized just how close it was to me losing this and ending the 100 days hardcore we had like five megatheriums out of 20 left day 71 started off with the bang i got a pre-made ascendant rex saddle if only that was a bp too bad it wasn't so i started farming up stone put it all in the in the chemistry bench and started grinding up cementing paste and then went with the theory to go gather wood to start crafting more and more saddles ready for the dragon boss fight the only one we need to do now. Then I started renaming my Therizinos for war. While I was out looking for UD lungs for the boss fight, I almost got clapped up by a bunch of direwolves that just would not stop biting me and almost killed me. Almost ended it on 71. The amount of times I've had near death experiences is insane. Finally found a UD, claimed its lung and head back to base. Now it's time for a new day. I leveled up my Therys and ready for war. They needed 21,000 health and the rest in melee. For this fight I'm going to need at least 10 to 20 cakes per Thery so I'm going to need a few hundred. I need a lot. They need to survive. So I continuously farmed for cakes, went for honey, almost died, crafted cakes, and just kept going with that for the whole day mostly. And then I raised a few more Therizinos, getting them at 100% imprint, and then went and did another drop. Day 73 and 74 consisted of me trying to kite a Giga into a Titan. When that didn't work, I tried to kite him towards the ocean. It was scary, he hit me a few times, and I actually almost died. But I got him towards the ocean, in which what, will you, what you do when you kite him to an ocean is it makes him run out of stamina in the middle of the ocean. And when he does that, he doesn't move anymore, he derps out, and you can kill him from behind. That is the perfect way to kill a Giga if you don't have one to kill him yourself. And in that, we got our first Giga Heart. We need one more and then we've got the, the Dragon Boss fight tributes sorted. And of course a day in the life of Ark wouldn't be complete without getting attacked by a Thylo out of nowhere. Day 75 was pretty simple. I got ambushed by a bunch of Trudons. They, they really wanted me dead. I think it was revenge. And then I crafted a bunch more cakes. Day 76 rolled around and there was a little bit of farming time. Then we are going to go ahead for some more drops like usual, do the typical day stuff. And then... I decided to hit up the pearls in case we need them for saddles. I then prepared my Argentavis to go take it over to Red Obby to go craft the one and only Tech Replicator. I headed over there, but because I didn't have the weight in the Argentavis, I had to do two runs. And with that, we moved out of the industrial era and into the tech era. This is where we come towards the final fights. When I got back to base, I realized, hey, there was an otter down here and it was a high level. We're gonna tame him and name him Harry Otter. You're a wizard, Harry. Day 77 began and I had to place down my Tech Replicator, but first I had 
to expand the base and the platform. In doing so, it would allow me to have room to place it down and expand my base into godhood soon. Now that we have tech, we're basically gods and we can do anything we want. We'll control this arc, Survival Evolved. Though having a tech replicator didn't prepare me for what I was about to go into. I was entering the other ice cave, the scary one, the one where you can only go in on foot. Having early game stuff and flack that isn't the best. I was ambushed by a bunch of cave dinosaurs and I had to run out of the cave. If I don't get out soon, I'm going to die. And this is going to be bad. I'm going to die right here on day 77 before I beat the last boss. Am I going to die? I managed to get out, kill the dinosaurs and go get and get one of my last artifacts I need. I just now need the other ice cave. I managed to get a drop in easy underwater that gave me a compound bow and a flak helmet ready for my final ascension. I went back to base, then my Fiomia got clapped up by a raptor. I had to go exterminate him from the from life itself. I then found and kited the last giga I needed for the giga hearts to do the alpha dragon boss. I then decided my luck's been kind of good right now. I might head to I might head to hard underwater. Yeah, that was a bad idea. It was a really bad idea. I started getting clapped up by all of them. The Dunklo army was after me and I had to run outside and kite them out, then kill them and come back in. I proceeded back in and killed everything with ease. This was a 170 megalodon and I was clapping it. I had to move into the last little cavern underwater to find one of the final artifacts that I need. This is one of the final artifacts I'm going to need. It's a Skylord artifact. Once I have this, I'm pretty sure all I need is Ice Cave and then we're ready to go for the Dragon Boss. And then Ascension after that into full on Godhood. As I was making my way out, I found the first drop I had ever found in Hard Underwater. And I was hoping it'd be really good. Jumping off, terrified, worried there'd be squids or anything around. I checked the drop and I had a flak BP. I was having the luckiest day today. I ran as fast as I could, checked out the rest of the cave and left with my head held high. I mean, day 77 was such a good day. Why wouldn't day 78 be bad? Philo got me out of the tree again. I then decided it was probably time to go hit Ice Cave, the main Ice Cave. And I was very scared to go into this cave due to the high level dinosaurs and the amount of Pelobias that are in here that can kill you in seconds. See, that would have been the death of me if I was on a ferry. Oh, it actually stunned me. Though the Rex is a way better way of defending yourself against Pelovias, they can still stun you. You may get lucky like I did just then and land on top of the Rex and survive. It actually got me. So now, even more terrified than I was before of Ice Cave, I venture forth and go for the artifact. I need this last artifact to move on and do the dragon boss fight. Hey boys, it's dinner time. As I ventured deeper into the cave, the hallways got narrower. I tried to run on foot and then realized there were some bears around the corner and jumped straight back on my Rex. I tried to grab all the drops I could along the way, just in case there was a saddle VP that I needed. And the artifact room is pure proof of why you should have a Rex in here. If you see just how many Pelovias are here, I would be dead right now beyond all recognition. After murdering all of those Pelovias and finally making my way to the artifact, I was done. I had made my way to the final artifact. It was the day. Day 78 was a glorious day. On my way back, Mr. Naughty Boy did his job and we got a bunch of polymer. Once we got back to base, I had a look to see if I had everything I needed to do Alpha Dragon, and I did. I have everything. It is almost time to take on the final boss and then to move on to Ascension. The polymer was not put to waste. It was used to make an OP shotgun for the dragon fight and for the Ascension later on. If I have to, I'll fight the Ascension boss on foot with my shotgun. In that time, I also repaired and made some more flak and I was ready to go take on the dragon. With everything prepared and ready to go, this is a final fight. We're ready to do the alpha dragon boss. It's now or never mother <sighs> Guess this is when we find out, right? <sighs> And with that, it was time to start the fight. There's no going back from this now. It started. This is the final boss fight before Ascension. Can we achieve our goals? We enter the arena. First bet to jump on the Yudi. This time, I've boosted the Therizinos instantly. There's no mistakes this time. We are going in and we are going to win this. If we lose now, I am going to be very upset. The Dimorphodons are murdering me right now. My Therizino is trying to protect me. The dragon is going hard. Oh my Therizinos, I need to try and boost them again. The, fl the flames are going to be doing a heck of a lot of damage. They're already killing our Therizinos. This could go really, really bad right now. And with that, I realized I need to whistle them out. So I J-whistled them and whistled passive. Allow them to heal with the cakes a little bit and go back in. And with that, I sent him in for the final fight. I've just lost a piece of armor. I had to run myself because they're going to defend me and they're going to protect me. We're going to win this fight now, and they are staying in there until they win. Now I whistle neutral, so as soon as the dragon hits, they fight back, and now they should take out the dragon. My fingers are crossed. I'm getting burnt still, but I'm going to sit here and take the, take the grunt. We are going to win this fight right now, and this will be the final boss done. It's almost there, and with that, we beat the dragon, the final boss. 
And all we have now is Ascension. Got him. Good job, boys. Only a few of you have died. We are the kings of Ark. The island is nothing to us. After that victory, day 79 began. I decided to go hit up the drops and see if we had some luck today. Swamp Cave wasn't playing fair until I got a better shotgun BP. Easy Underwater then gave me a flat chest BP. And somehow I found my first underwater drop. It was average. I was making my way home back with my loot. And then... The typical thing happened in our The demon bird strikes again out of nowhere. He's ready to take me off my mount and kill me on a late day in my 100 days hardcore. But my flax 10 times better now, boy. I'm a god. You can't kill this. After that small victory, I went back and crafted some more of my tech armor so I could fly around looking for drops and not have to rely on tames anymore. And that's just what I did. I took off in my tech suit. I'm now a god. All I have to do is ascend into full godhood and we're done. We've done so good. We've passed all bosses so far. And now, it's time to farm. It's time to work towards getting the ascension done. I did a fat poly run with Mr. Naughty Boy. He seems to be doing really good now, so he's no longer Naughty Boy. And then, I ran into another Alpha Tuso, which is going to get me all the Black Pels. We just need the Black Pels to be able to craft the rest of our tech stuff. And the Tuso I just in case we lose it. I still haven't got my Rex Saddle, so I decided to take fishing for another chance. You know what happens? A Terror Bird's just like, Hey buddy! How you going? How about you catch me? No, oh, he wanted to smack me up. So I quickly put him down. I then caught a fish and got absolutely nothing. So I'm going to try a few other places. I'm going to try and trap the fish inside a little pen and then get rare flowers to make him come for me into there. But as you can probably tell, it didn't quite work as well as it used to. Back in the day, you used to be able to use a patchy rhino to bring him in. Straight out of compi. A compi just comes out of nowhere and tries to take me on. But now I'm a god. It's almost, it's almost too easy. Just a lonely man in his tech suit trying to fish for a living. As you can probably tell, my attention span under diagnosed ADHD. I got bored really quickly, went to the underwater drop and got something I didn't want, but was pretty cool. Day 81 was here and I swear I'm a glutton for punishment. I went back and I started trying to fish in another spot and I failed. I went to Redwoods and I'm failing. And guess who's rocked up? Straight out of Compi! Straight out of Compi! Compies are back again and they're ready for they're ready for revenge. And they're attacking. This was their ultimate revenge. And even a devil bird showed up and now they're teaming up. They've joined groups and they're here for revenge. I quickly put down the Compi like I always do. After that fight, I caught another fish, and I knew it was going to be bad because it's a coal, and like I said, it was bad. I didn't get my wreck saddle. I looked around for drops for a little while, and then went to the redwoods. I had to go look for something in the redwoods, and then this happened. How this Thylo attacked me like Superman is beyond me. Day 82 came around and I got the Laplorodon buff. Getting that, I went through the caves to go see if I'd get better drops. I ended up getting worse drops than I'd ever get. Ran back in Ice Cave to do it as well and got absolutely smashed by Pelovias. Before I knew it, I was stunned by the Pelovia. Somehow I got stunned off my Rex by a Pelovia. Now I'm getting knocked off and they're they're smashing me right now. I'm in trouble. I could die here on day 82. And that could be the end before I even ascend. I've done all this work just to die here to such a stupid thing. My helm was broken and I'm almost done. I need to get back to my Rex. If I can't get back there, I'm dead. I need to hop on it and I need to I need to eat these guys. I finally get on my Rex and I was safe. And that was so close. I almost died just to find out that the drops are absolutely dog water. So in my glorious Laplorodon buff body, I achieved nothing. Then I went off with my Therry to go get some more wood. So I went back to base, marveled in what I've created and what I've done, and thought, you know what? We haven't done a base build yet. We haven't had a base montage yet. So now sit back, relax, enjoy this base montage between day 83 and 85. And I'll bring you back when we go for Ascension. Well, that build was exhausting. I need to have a nap. Now I'm going to go to Hard Underwater and try and finally find a wreck saddle or something. I need I need it bad. I want to do this Ascension ASAP. The days are running out. So I have headed to Hard Underwater to finally try and get this wreck saddle. That's all I need is so I can do the Ascension with ease. That's all I need. And my luck was good today. Listen to how excited I was. Oh my god. Code red. Code red. Code red. Code red. Code red. Code red. Meep, meep, woo!
With the Rex saddle finally acquired, there was only one or two things to do. That was to farm for the saddles, raise dinosaurs, and get ready to make sure we have everything we need to do Ascension. And that's all I did from day 86 to day 90. Day 91 was here, and it was time for Ascension. It's time for us to enter the God Hood. We have to get the Rexes inside this as many as we can. We want to get 20 in. We can't get 20 in as close as we can. In that case, I almost missed the door shutting by like seven seconds and that would have been embarrassing. So after that, what I had to do was I had to line up all my Rexes in a conga line so that each Rex followed the other one behind it and they followed me all the way down nice and gracefully. At least so I thought they would. Little did I know it wasn't going to be that easy. But we could all hope for the best, right? So my idea when it comes to going through the ascension, I moved down with just one tame. I moved down with one Rex. I cleared the way. Then I moved my other Rexes further down. Though sometimes it doesn't go quite to plan and some Rexes end up in the lava. I pushed forward with my Rex. I had a quick look off the edge to see if I could find the first Giga. Because what you have to do is you have to kite them into the lava and allow them to die. I made sure my line, my conga line is going good and strong. I heard a Microraptor to my left and I was a little bit scared. And then I pushed in forward once again, clearing the way for all my tames to come down. And then I got ambushed by a lot and there is hurt. I pondered, how am I going to get a good angle on this Giga that's down here? I need him to go into the lava. I shot a few teams and kited them into the lava first. I had a little look and I found him finally. There he is. And here he came. We kited him into the lava and he was going to die eventually. Now we don't have to fight that because we would die and we would lose. I then proceeded forward, killed a few more teams, and then the bad boy from before hadn't jumped into the lava yet. So we had to make sure that he fully ran in there and that we didn't have to worry about him anymore. Oh man, this guy is tanky. And with that, he was finally dead. Now it was time to conga line it down through the tech cave. And then the unthinkable happened. I got ambushed by a Rex from behind. Rexes have knocked back. My Rex started getting pushed towards the lava. I made the split decision to jump off. I shielded up and I ran for my life. I abandoned that Rex. But my life is more important. I need to pass this. And I almost died. Oh my god. I then shot some other teams and made them run off into the lava as well. Then with that... It allowed me not to have to fight them and get pushed into the lava. I then saw the car char. I didn't realize there was actually car chars in this cave now. I shot it. It decided, you know what? I'm going to chase this guy. It ran straight into the lava just like I wanted. Now I just had to find the Giga. And there he was. Right here. Now I just need to shoot this and make him run into the lava and wait for him to both to die. Then it's home run from here. We run off to do the final boss fight. And it wouldn't be Ark without throwing a random Pelovia at me right near the end of Tech Cave and almost killing me. Right? Right? And with the Karcha and Giga finally dead, it was time to conga lion into the final boss fight. It was time. We travelled all the way up to the terminal where we had to go to teleport into the final boss fight's halls. Where all the drops happen and the massive spaceship. That is the final boss. We activated the terminal and it was time. There's no going back at all. We moved our way through the final tunnel, thinking about the adventure that we have had along the way. Putting on some more fur to keep warm. This is it guys. This is the final fight. This is what we've worked towards solo, hardcore, never die. We are about to beat the final boss. And with that, the first roar of the fight begins. The final fight is now, and it is our time. Let's go. And straight out of the gate, I whistle him straight on the Overseer. This is our time, guys. This is what I've bred you for. This is what we have worked for in the past days. We have worked so hard beating all the other bosses just to get to this point. Now you're murdering those old bosses. The Broodmother has nothing on you, Rexes. You guys are absolutely destroying it. And now we need to move on to the monkey. The monkey is next. He's our next victim. Then we have to go on to Dragon. And we will wipe them all. We'll wipe the floor with every single one of them. We will be victorious and we will become gods. We will beat the 100 days hardcore. This will be for the history books. We went from day 1 day 93. We have fought tooth and nail to get here. Oh, you got this. Easy. Get her, boys. It's the final. The final. Get her, boys. You got it! Come on! You got it, boys! You got this! You got this! Oh no, you have to kill the boss again, boys. Let's go, 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 go! Charge! Because I hadn't beaten the boss quick enough, I now have to beat the Brute Mother once again. It's going to be easy work. And now we have finally finished the 100 Days Hardcore. The victory, in my opinion, is secure. We have come through some real big struggles in this adventure. I want to thank every single one of you guys that have watched this. I appreciate all of you. And this was a very hard, this was a very hard video to make, I can tell you now. It was stressful. It took a lot of time. And I thank every single one of you for watching. Let's try and get 10,000 likes for beating this on hard. 
hardcore guys. Alpha as well. <laughs> we just did Alpha Overseer. Solo. On 100 days. Easy. And with that, it was the end of 100 days. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this a very entertaining video. But you might ask, what's next? All I can say is there's dragons. It's based around the Australian Outback and it's one of my favorite maps. <laughs>